Many years ago, this is a response to the question of, is there any hope? When I was in my 20s, I, I went to Israel every year, and I, I lived with a mentor, a rabbi in Israel. I stayed at his apartment. And for whatever reason, I don't know why it came up, but we were at a gas station filling up his car. And he told me the story, he said in the early, Dennis, in the early years of, of Israel, it was a very socialist state. And uh, the government ran everything, including, not everything, but much of industry, like telephone. It was in the uh, Ministry of Communications. So he said, so Dennis, I went to the Ministry of Communications to get a phone for my home. And I said to the clerk, he said this to me in Hebrew, but it, the line happily works perfectly in English. So he said, I asked the clerk, how long will it take? When will I get the phone? He said, oh, six months. So I said to the clerk, is there any hope I can get it sooner? And the clerk said to me, sir, there's always hope. There's no chance. <laughs> that is my depressing answer. <laughs> To the whatever people ask, is there any hope? There's hope and there's a chance. The chance is if you fight, you have to fight. You have to send everyone you know effective articles and videos and thoughts. You'll get defriended. They are more your friend to begin with. What can I tell you? It's. Uh, <laughs> Dennis, does the election of Donald Trump, the surprising election of Donald Trump, give you hope? It does mean... Well, let me tell you my reaction. I, I and th therefore you have to put my pessimism, you know, uh, on, on the side for a moment. I was certain he would not win. And I was, and I ended, was hopeful that he would. I, I, I asked my friends, I kept saying, I think he's going to win. You did? Yes, because I didn't think God was going to bring judgment on the country. Good for God. The, um, so I, I got to tell you, that night, I told my boys, I know, because you have to take this in the spirit with, a, with, a, with, a, with which I say it, but, you know, I, I was so happy. I have two sons, so happy the nights you were born but not as happy as the night Trump won. <laughs> so, it, I, I, not only was I happy, I was jubilant, but I engaged in something I, I, I never before proudly engaged in. Schadenfreude, the German word meaning joy at others' misery. <laughs> I did not watch Fox News for one minute that night. I only watched CNN and MSNBC. Their misery was food for my soul. So a note of hope. A note of hope, So, but you gotta yeah. fight. Let me end in a totally serious note. When I visited Normandy Beach about 25 years ago and saw, as far as the eye could see, all these crosses, and the average age was like 20, and I took a vow, I don't do that often, and I said, you know, all these young guys died for America and liberty, so I take a vow, I'm gonna live for America and liberty. That's the value we got to take. Thank you.